Okay, time for our big interview. Look, we are introducing playoffs to this sport for the first time ever. So let's get a feel for what motorsports playoffs are like. We bring in former NASCAR Cup crew chief, Steve Letarte, who's now our expert analyst for NASCAR and NBC. NASCAR has been running a chase and then playoff format for a long, long time. Uh, but I also know you like this sport. We saw you at track walk. I remember Saturday morning in Nashville, and I heard you are all into this deal now. Yeah, uh, listen, I've always followed Supercross, Motocross. And I, I think this playoff format is going to be um, the total unknown, and I'm convinced the riders don't even know what they're getting themselves, in, themselves into. In the NASCAR world, we went to playoffs. We thought, I thought, I was a competitor at the time, we were doing everything. We were, we were turning over every stone. We were at every level of aggression possible, but then it seemed like as the playoffs loomed and continued, we continue to find different steps. And I think that's what we're going to see out of the riders over this three weeks. Yeah, so when you went to that Nashville Supercross and really got to see it in person, what did impress you uh, about this sport when you get to see it up close and then go to the paddock and, and meet some of the players? Well, so the big thing for Supercross is a lot like NASCAR, which is we do a solid job of TV coverage, but nothing matches in person. The speed, the acceleration, the height. Uh, I mean, those 450s with one grab, they are gone three or four stories in the air. They make it look so easy. And then the paddock, I actually really enjoyed. Um, you know, I'm used to this closed in garage that, you know, the teams kind of hide in in NASCAR. And when I moved over to Supercross, I could walk through the paddock, see the different riders, see the different mechanics. They were all open to talk. Uh, just the fan experience overall, um, you know, was one of a kind. Uh, and this was the Supercross world of being in a stadium. I was at Nissan Stadium there in Nashville, uh, and it was just a condensed, great atmosphere. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about when these playoffs first came in. There was the chase format, which was the final 10 or so races of the year were for the championship. But I remember when they switched to the current format in 2014, when it was a series of elimination races, three weeks reset, three weeks reset. That fall of 2014, that was probably the most intense NASCAR racing I'd ever seen. What was it like? You were Dale Earnhardt's crew chief that year. You guys had a shot at the title. What was it like to try to develop a strategy on the fly when everyone was going, as you said, to an even higher level than you even thought they could? Well, when you talk about motorsports in an elimination format, every race turns into a game seven moment, or at least every round. You know, if you don't show up and you aren't good enough, you're eliminated from the round and your championships hope go away. And that's really what we've seen in NASCAR. And when I look at this playoff format, you guys are getting ready to enter. I look at it kind of the same way. I know it's a total of points, but you have to consider yourself, if you don't, if you have an issue and you aren't in the top five, six or seven in each round, I just don't see the math working. I just, you know, it's gonna take an amazing ride over three consecutive weeks. So that's the balance. How do you ride in week one, right? If you are second, third, fourth, that's a great day. What is your risk for a win, right? Are you happy with second or third place points? Um, and I don't have the answer. I, much like everyone else, is gonna be a tuned in fan. I, I can't wait to see some of the biggest names um, in a new condensed format. Yeah, to that point, have you found since 2014, they've refined the process a bit. But was there more chaos those first couple of years before people truly had a grasp on maybe the best model to do it? Are we probably in store for a little more unpredictability because it's the first time? The agenda is different for every team. If you have winning firepower, you are way more relaxed to run third because you know you can win the next two weeks. If you're a driver or a rider in this case that comes in a little on the peripheral, right? You've had a good year. You're here. You're part of it. But it's going to take a career best uh, to win the overall championship, then you see pressing early. They have to make something happen right away. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's the thing. We do have wild card types, you know, the fifth or sixth ranked rider coming in who probably thinks, yeah, if I pull out something special that first week, I could swing the math in my favor. That's fun to watch. And then on your side, you were the crew chief. We have different types of tracks that we've never raced before. We're calling them a hybrid between motocross and supercross. In the NASCAR playoffs, you're racing on tracks that you've gone to before, but you mentioned that pressure. You mentioned that intensity. What is it like behind the scenes for the crews to know whatever guess we make, getting it right or wrong could determine our entire season in one day? Well, this reminds me of the Roval. That's why I love that you're going to Z-Max Dragway because uh, when the NASCAR playoffs went to the Roval, which is the road course inside Charlotte Motor Speedway, it uses the banking and the infield. And it was kind of like uh, this mix. It was not, nothing we had really seen before. It was kind of a road course, but had some oval uh, tendencies. The unknown made that week feel special and different. And, um, you know, the competitors don't want to hear this, but what I have learned is when the format makes them uncomfortable, 
the more uncomfortable the competitor, the better the show for the fan. And I think that's what we're getting ready to see for nine weeks in NASCAR and, and three weeks in your sport. Uh, thanks for the time. And uh, at least you're the only person that knows anything about uh, motorsports playoffs at our crew. So thanks for the effort. Thanks for the time here. Well, I appreciate you coming on. And I can't wait. You're right. Um, playoffs and motorsports didn't go hand in hand. They have for a long time in NASCAR. I'm excited to see how it works uh, Works on two wheels. All right. Thanks, Steve. All right. That's it. We've been building this up for over a year now. At 11 a.m. on Friday, we'll have a live press conference and then we'll have bikes on track at noon on Friday in Charlotte. This is it, JT. The playoffs are finally here. And one more time, if you want to watch Race Day Live, we'll be back. That starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time with Dan Hubbard and Ryan Villapoto and plenty of other guests. 2.30 Eastern is our pre-race show. We're racing at 3 o'clock Eastern. You can watch all of it on Peacock or the Super Motocross video pass outside of the U.S. or on television at 3 p.m. Eastern on USA Network. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.